So I discovered this program talking to an old professor and as soon as they told me about it, I knew I was going to give it a check out and I'll give you guys a review on it because the program is amazing. It's called Making the Dot and it's specifically designed for fashion designers when they're creating mood boards and collaborations. It is such a cool program and I can't wait to show you guys it. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So when you load the landing page of Making the Dot, one of the things that stood out to me the most was their slogan, Collaborative Canvas Meets Fabric Library, which I thought was very appropriate for a fashion designing platform. But one of the really cool things about this uh, website, and if you keep scrolling, you'll run into things like visual productivity, collaboration and mood board, all sorts of different features that you can find on this website. But one of the coolest ones that I didn't really get to show you guys in this video, but I wanted to highlight was the collaborative canvas allows designers from all around the world to come together and create stunning designs in real time, which is really, really cool when you think about it because there are so many collaborations going on with the fashion industry nowadays. It is very popular to collaborate with other brands, other designers, and a lot of times they don't live in the same place. So having a platform where you can sit down and talk to each other and in real time create your inspiration and your mood boards and your vision for that collection is a really cool thing. And because this program is specifically designed for fashion designers, Everything is tailored to what a fashion designer could possibly need. So when you're on the landing page and if you click on products, the key features is collaborative canvas, fabric library, textile color palette, and the extension, which is really cool and I'll explain that a little bit later. There are three different versions of this platform. You can get a free version, which I'll be showing you today. If you would like me to show you the paid version, uh, leave a comment below. I do plan on making a video about the paid version, but if I have enough comments, I will expedite that video and make sure I get it out to you guys sooner. And then there's also a student version. There are quite a few well-known schools using this platform, including Pratt, Berkeley College, and Parsons, SCAD, Academy of Arts, a lot of well-known schools are using this program. And as you continue looking around the landing page before you actually make your account, you can see that they have resources. They have templates for textiles and colors. They have templates for fashion design collections and even specific ones for color research. So if you're new to doing this, using a template will really help you to understand and learn the not only the program but how to really create a mood board that will actually help you design. They also include case studies so this they do have an entire tab devoted to case studies that have, people have made using this platform which is really cool so if you want to check that out because if, you, if you're interested in stuff like that you can see what other people are doing and how they are using this amazing program. Another great thing is they actually have tutorials on how to actually use the program. They also have a blog that will explain how to use it among other various things. So with that said, let's get into the creating the account. So when you start creating an account on Make the Dot, the first thing that it asks you is of course your name because that is important. So you're going to type in your name, click continue, then you're going to click your role if you're a fashion designer, student, or a professor, maybe you're someone else that wants to do this as well. And it brings you right into the tutorial and it lets you click on to the uh, mood board that they created for that purpose. Once on the practice mood board, it'll show you what tools you can use to help move things around and create different aspects of this mood board. Here you can see that I'm going through and I'm kind of experimenting with all the different move tools. You can click next or you can click back, you can skip, you can completely exit out of this if you wanted to do that. But I do recommend doing it. It does show you the ropes a little bit, especially since this is a new program. However, the controls are similar to many other programs, so it's not really much of a learning curve if you know how to use Adobe programs or if you use Canva or anything like that. Now, what as you do after that is download the Chrome extension, which is really cool. Uh, once you download it, you can actually save 
images in bulk and put them straight into make the dot canvas which is a really nice feature and what I want you guys to notice on the free version you do have a limit on how much you can use so here it says zero to 60 cards that is how many images and stuff you can have on a canvas so the first thing on the tab is the move tool and you use this to move the canvas around if you want to move an actual item around you deselect the move tool and then you are able to select various images or colors the next one is the artboard tool and this allows you to select the size you want of your actual artboard. That is if you want to print this out. I do like doing actual physical mood boards as well. So this is a really helpful tool if I wanted to print it out and use it in an actual uh, mood board that I can put actual fabrics and things on as well. However, this does have a really cool feature with fabrics that I'll, I'm about to show you. You can also upload various images if you already have images. And again, I will show you that Chrome extension here in a moment. The fabrics tab is so cool. You can actually put in real fabrics from actual suppliers into your mood board so that you know exactly what fabrics, what textures you want in that collection. It is a very unique and very cool thing to have. Um, on this website that you can just click and look at all of the fabrics. Next they have a color. You can do Pantone or hex codes to find the colors and you can even use the eyedropper tool to select colors right in an image. If that image has the color palette you want, you can play around with the colors in it and you can find your palette straight through that image and it connects it directly to a Pantone color. And then you can also add text and uh, wherever you want it. These little arrows that you see here are actually images that they imported in. So they don't have little icons like that you, you can put into it. But if you find free ones or you make your own icons, you can easily, you can easily make a folder and import those icons into your mood board. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I totally geeked out about the color feature and the fabric feature. It is really, really cool to have a platform that directly connects a color from an image to a Pantone color. There's just so many platforms that they don't do it quite as well. I know Pantone themselves has their own platform when you can make colors into Pantone colors, but it is quite expensive and you can do it for free on this website and that is amazing, especially since these colors are T TCX Pantone colors, which are the colors for actual textiles. So if, if you're going into manufacturing, that is super helpful because you know exactly what colors you want straight out of a photo. You can really manipulate it and get it to the perfect shade of color that you wanted, which is amazing. And then you can actually find the fabric on the same place and put the fabric with the color, which is amazing. I I have so much fun playing around with this and I'll show you guys my little tutorial here in a minute on what I did and showed you guys a little bit more of the features. I definitely will be using this program for my own brand. If you don't know, I have launched my own clothing brand. It is called Natalie Michelle. NatalieMichelle.shop is the link if you want to check it out. I'll leave it in the description below. I make women's wear and kids wear, mommy and me type stuff and I'm very excited to share it all with you guys. So without, um, so if you're interested in taking a look at that, please do so and also make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It really does help the channel quite a lot and I have a goal this year of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I would love to exceed that goal. So if you are liking the content so far, please hit that subscribe button and go check out some of my other videos. So now I want to show you guys the Chrome extension. So I opened up my Pinterest and I just searched fall to see what would come up on Pinterest. And then I took my favorite images and it's really very simple to use this. All you do is find an image and then you'll see the little um, make the dot extension save come up. You just click on that little save and it brings it to a little side strip 
It allows you to save as many images or colors, whatever you wanted to save in that little bulk save extension. Once you're done with all of the images that you want, all you have to do is click save to a new board. It does have the option if you want to save it to an already board that exists, you can do that as well. But I just click the save to new board and then it loads right into a new mood board for you to work on. Once I had all of them loaded, I just simply arranged them in a way that made sense to me. I kind of scrunched them together a little bit so that I had room to put around different colors and other aspects as well. I really like the colors in these photos, so I used the eyedropper tool to extract some of those colors to create my palette. Another feature about this is that you can actually change the name of the color if you wanted to make that color more fit into your brand, especially since if you're going to be using these colors in your actual garments, you can rename that color and really make it more coherent with your brand ideals or your aesthetic or whatever you want to do. Here you see I'm just messing with the fabrics because I wanted to look into the fabrics and I was just blown away. You can actually contact the supplier straight through the website, which is really cool. And then I just opened the text box to give that a little shot because I wanted to see how it worked. You can change the font of the text. You can change the size. You can play with it. You can wrap it. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with the text. You can even leave comments on various things if you wanted to leave comments on images or colors or if you have sketches in there you can leave comments you also can edit anything honestly you can underline italicize anything goes and then of course you can rename your uh, mood board to fit whatever season collection that you're doing at the time so thank you guys all for watching this video i hope you like this program and give it a try out as much as i did i definitely will be using it in the future I think it has some great, great uh, features for fashion designers, obviously because it was made for fashion designers, and I think it's really going to help a lot with collaborations, with just getting all my thoughts down in one place and being able to actually see everything all together. I think that's just an amazing thing for fashion designers. This program is so cool. There is the free version. The paid version is only $20 a month. $20 a month, guys, is like nothing. Like if you have Adobe programs, you're paying way more for your Adobe programs than this. Honestly, I'm shocked that it's only $20 a month. That's, that's barely anything. Yeah, so if you're a student and your school doesn't have a free thing or doesn't have a subscription for students, definitely look into the starter or even the pro because again, $20 a month is barely anything. I will be doing another video on the paid version as well and if you guys want me to put that video out sooner rather than later, make sure you leave comments down below so that I can expedite that video and make sure I get it to you guys as well. This program is amazing. I will be using it. I love it. I'll make sure I link some other videos at the end of this video for you guys to check out if you did like this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.